At the moment, this computer is using an OID disk drive in a RAID 0 configuration in order to boot up. So we're just going to boot it up now. We're going to see how long it takes to boot up. And then once we've put the SSD drive in, we're going to see how long it takes to boot up using that and see if there's any speed advantage. So I'm just pressing the button now. So we've got the new SSD in, so now we're just going to boot it up and see how long it takes to boot up. So I'm just going to press the button now. So we're now just going to go into the control panel and we'll click on system and security and we'll click on system and we can then click on Windows Experience Index which is currently 5.9 and if we look at that it goes off the actual lowest subscore which is currently 5.9 which is the disk data transfer rate. So on this particular computer the actual hard disk is actually slowing the computer down so if we could speed that up by putting an SSD in we should get better performance from the computer the bottom score there is 5.9 which is the disk data transfer rate so hopefully by putting the SSD in here we will improve that figure which will hopefully increase the overall score so now I'm just going to go to the control panel system and security system and we're going to do the Windows Experience Index again and we're going to rerun the assessment And you can see that that has made a massive improvement to the RAID 0 configuration that we used to have. It's jumped up from 5.9 to 7.2, so that should make the computer considerably faster. So I've now downloaded a free program called DSK Speed, which checks the speed of the disk out. So we're just going to run that program. And I will actually put a link to this program in the description. We've got the drive there, which is a logical C drive, which is the drive that's now using the SSD. And we're just going to click on Begin Test.
The top here you can see that the cache speed is 205.72 MBs per second and the max read speed is 235.50 MBs per second and the overall score is that figure there. So I've now selected the F drive which is the old C drive on this computer and we're going to do the same speed test on that drive. So I'll just click on begin test now. So you can see there that the cache speed and the max read speed and the overall score is considerably lower on the hard disk drive. 